What we do at the Asian Institute and at CAS is to ask big questions of universal significance from a perspective rooted in Asia. Questions about capitalism, protest, revolution. We make a pretty strong claim to know about Asia is to know about the world. I get to explore things like the development of Korea under authoritarian regimes, you know, the effects of climate change on big cities, uh, the context of the Philippines or Indonesia. It challenged me to think beyond information available in the news. Thinking critically about gender, about race, about ethnicity, looking deeper than the surface is something that CAS gives you that I don't think can easily be replicated. It's an interdisciplinary program that's meant to build bridges across disciplines, connecting them. I encountered these new ideas I never really thought about before, and I thought, wow, this is a great class. I need to take more. It really changed my whole life. It changed my whole worldview. I thought I was just going to come and study Asia. I never thought all these new ways of thinking about Asia would relate to me so deeply. The CES program is located in the Asian Institute, one of the world's biggest Asian studies programs in the Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy. Many of our faculty are public intellectuals who write in the press, who go on television programs. These are really the world leaders in Asian studies. I teach a second year course. It's a sort of introduction to major themes in contemporary Asia. And I get to know my students well from the beginning. We build a connection, have intense discussions. What I liked about the CAS program is the closeness with the faculty. I got to know the staff really well, the professors really well, and people in the program really well. Add to that the fact that the Asian Institute is perhaps the most supportive administrative community on campus. You're becoming a part of a group of people who care about you and really want to see you succeed, both inside and outside of the classroom. So currently, I'm editor-in-chief of the Synergy Journal of Contemporary Asian Studies. CAS has a wealth of opportunities for students to delve into topics that they didn't get to explore as much within the classroom. If you have an idea for a research project, just come and talk to us. The Insights Through Asia Challenge was a summer opportunity to explore urban protests within Hong Kong and the diaspora network of Hong Kong activists. So I'm currently the Vice President of the Contemporary Asian Studies Student Union. The CASU experience was a very key part of my time at the Asian Institute. We organized the Global Careers Through Asia Conference, and it feels full circle that I'm now back at this conference as a guest speaker. Professionals who were affiliated with the Asian Institute talk about their jobs, talk about how CAS kind of helped them find these jobs and find these pathways. I'm currently a mentor for the Alumni Mentorship Program. My mentor became a really close friend and, and, and someone that I've gotten to know very well. The CAS community really lives on after you graduate. You get the benefits of this world-renowned institution, but also you're part of a small, close-knit community at the same time. Join us. It's a wonderful community. It's a rewarding academic experience and a very rigorous intellectual journey. There's such a feeling of closeness. It makes me feel like it's a little bit like home. Maybe it's just the magic of contemporary studies. <laughs>